Today I'm going to show you my winter stationary bicycle. This is what I got for winter. I got this from a friend that was not using it. Let's call him Walter. M Mr. Walter was not using this. So I was lucky enough to get it. This is not what you expected for a road cyclist. So I did have to make some changes. Uh, I use it twice like this and it, it really didn't work. So I'll show you now how I changed it. So what can be done to change this for a road cyclist? Uh, it, has to, it has to have a lot of changes, but it was easier than I thought. So the first thing, the seat has to go. Let's take the seat out. Gone. Seat is gone now. Now, if we don't have the seat, we don't need the, the back support. Let's take out the back support. We take out the back support. It's perfect. It is very easy to take it out. Maybe. So the seat and back support is gone. Oh, look at this. With the seat and back support gone, we don't need the support for the back support or the seat. So we take out the support for the support. Gone. Of course, the the brain of the sink cannot be here because the, the knees will hit it. Take it out. Out. Out it goes. If we don't have the brain, we don't need the neck to support the head. Out it goes. But now, road cyclists usually are sitting down. So we need to make some kind of structure so I can put the saddle here and I pedal there. So how do we attach it? This plastic cover has to go out. Out. Plastic covers out. We don't need this. Once the plastic covers are out, we see something very interesting. We see, let me get the measuring tape. We see this opening here, looks like a two by four. So let's see if it's two by four. 1.5, that's two. Three, ah, it's almost a two by four. But we can cut a two by four to, to so support the entire structure here. Th this is good. We put a 2x4 here. The handlebar will be here. It's perfect, right? Then we make the top tube down here. And uh, how it's called? Um, I, I don't remember the name of the, the tube that goes down. The, the seat tube. Let's call it the seat tube. It's not called a seat tube. I, I don't remember. So the top tube comes here and the seat tube goes down and we could put the saddle here, the handlebars here, we can put the brain of the system, we can put it here. Let's see what I done. Of course you've seen my Andy work with the wood on the other video. And this is what I've done. This is what I've done. This is the 2x4 cut. This is a 2x4 slim down, so it fits on the 1.5 by 4 over there. And this obviously is the top, top tube. This is the fork. And this is the down tube. Down tube is here. I don't know the name of this, I can't remember it. The handlebars are here. And this is where we put the brain of the system. So we just fit it here and we have a road training bicycle. Look at this. Could this be better? Of course not. This is the best we have. I did put the fork. It, it's not structurally sound, but I was afraid when I go very fast on the sands, if I have to, to break, if I don't have the fork here, the entire thing can fall. Okay, you, you get the point. And um, how does this work? Perfectly. Now, you wanna see me try this on my li lycra shorts or in my funky pants?
it's your decision. Okay, I'll put the, the shirts on. So I'll show you now how good this works. Beware, I'm in my uh, cyclic equipment. If people around me, around here, have to see me on the street, you can see me on the tube. Um, for your benefit, I do have my cycling jersey. Usually here, I only use the shorts. So turn off now if you don't like fat people. Um, this works perfectly. Of course, I cut this for, for my height. Um, I do have to pedal on my socks. I did try to change the pedals, but it has a different thread. I, I could not change the pedals. This is how I do it every other month during the winter. We go inside up. You can see the the leg, the, the seat too high. It's it's okay. The bicycle is a bit too too short. The setup is a bit too short. I can always change the top too. I I could easily go. I don't know, three inches or ten centimeters longer it's fine I can pedal I can pedal with one foot only it's good enough for that yeah I cannot put the other one then I can try a hand draw position I can spend hours and hours in here the most I did was four years last year I do have a, an entertainment system right there I watch Netflix and uh, I, I do have a mouse here to control it. It's perfect. So in the next video, I'll talk about the saddle that came with the Sabre World Wind 3.0. Feels very comfortable on the first two or five minutes. Okay, so 700 meters. It's good for the rest of the week. So just in case I don't look as good in lycra shorts as I thought I do, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to show you how the, how good this works without lycra shoes. I did try to put uh, regular pedals, but they don't go in. It's a different thread. I I don't know why they did this. So I have to do this without shoes, and it's fine. Uh, I thought it would be worse than than it is. We do, you see how good it is. The, the Q factor is huge, but it's okay. It's, it's still a bicycle. It's a bit short. There's no setting. It's a bit short. I can pedal. I can pedal fast. I, I can pedal with one, one leg only. I can push up. That's, that's fine. I should do this exercise more. And um, I can try a, a triple position. I can do leg exercises. I, this is all good. It's all good. If if I would enjoy it, I, I would use it for it. So yeah, this is how it goes. It works perfectly. I can look outside. Usually we have about one car passing here every hour and one person every other day, so it's very entertaining. There are no birds. Birdless. It's all white outside. So I'll do the same thing on Lycra. So you can... So I, I can decide how good I look in Lycra. See you.